Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very quick and impromptu video on how to make your phone look aesthetically pleasing with the iOS 14 update. So after I posted this on my Instagram story last night, my inbox was completely flooded on how do I do this? How do I make that? What app did you use? So I'm going to tell you everything you need today. I'm going to apologize for the quality of this video because it is not going to be my best, but I just wanted to get the information out there as quickly as possible. So please excuse this and this and let's just get started. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know, the iOS 14 update came out a little while ago and it has the power to make your phone very aesthetically pleasing, which is super important to so many people, especially someone like me who likes everything to look organized and pretty. So I spent quite a lot of time figuring out how to make my phone look pretty with all cool icons and stuff like that. And when I showed it off on my Instagram story, a lot of you had questions and wanted to do the same. So like I said, the goal of this video is to help you guys get there as quickly and easy as possible. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so for starters, if you didn't update your phone, this is not available to you yet. You have to make sure that your phone is up to date and you have the most recent download of the iOS 14. So I'm going to start by showing you my home screen. So this is just an example of something that your phone could look like. Um, what I'm going to be showing you specifically in the video today is how to do the calendar that you'll see up top here, which is um, a widget as well as the photo widget, and then how to organize and make your icons look all pretty like the ones at the bottom. So let's get started. Begin by starting with the apps that you are going to need the most. So if you're looking at my screen right now, these are the four apps that I use the most to create everything that you see. So the apps are Widget Smith, which is this black and blue one in the top corner, Photo Widget, Color Widgets, and Shortcuts. Now, Shortcuts comes with the iPhone, so you might already have that downloaded, but if you were like me, you might have deleted it because mine wasn't on my phone for some reason, so I had to re-download it. These are the four that you're definitely going to need. Starting with Widget Smith, here's what we're going to need to do. So you go to the Widgets, which is this home screen app, and you'll see that they have small widgets, medium widgets, and large widgets. So the small ones can be like photos and clocks. The medium ones are the rectangles and they're the full calendars. Or there's a larger square which can do date and time. Um, for the one that you saw on my home screen, this is a medium widget. So I'll show you guys how I made that widget. So you would go to add medium widget you would click one and then you're going to click default widget. So now you'll see first is style. You can pick any style that you want um, depending on which one you like the best. You can also pick to do a custom text or a blank box, add a photo, upcoming events. If you pay for the full app, you'll see that you could do weather forecast or tide moon phases oh well those are actually open to you so you can pick a bunch of cool ones to pick so let's just say for now that we're going to stick with this um monday with the time and date so then i'm going to go to font you can pick a bunch of different fonts which are really fun let's go with this one marker felt the next one you could pick your tint and color so the first step of this before you even start making your wedgets I would highly suggest you going into this with a game plan. So I knew that I wanted my theme to be Halloween. Fall is my favorite time of the year and Halloween is my all time favorite holiday. So I wanted to go straight into a Halloween background and widget and all that fun stuff. So I obviously went with orange and black. So let's click on the orange and black tint color. And then you can also adjust it if you want it to be like a lighter gray, a white, a dark gray, black, however you want it. So let's just say that I'm going with all of these, scanning them. You can also give it like a border color like some of these have down here. Let's do that just for fun to show it off. And then when you're done, go back and click save. Now that it's saved, I also took a minute to rename it. So I renamed it new so I knew which one I was looking up when I go to edit to my home screen. After that, you can exit out the app and I'm on one of my home screens. I'm going to hold down on this, click the plus button, and you'll see that the search widgets comes up. You can type in Widget Smith, which is the app that we just used, and you're going to click add widget for the medium icon because we made a medium icon. 
So once you have that, you can click done. Then you want to hold down on that icon that you just made, edit widget, click the name, and then you want to click the one that you just named, call it new, and voila, it is now on my home screen. So that is one widget down, more to go. So I'm going to show you how to add a photo to your screen. Now, if you wanted something that's more aesthetically pleasing, um, like a quote or a picture of Disney or a park or anything fun like that, make sure you just have that saved. You can look up images on Pinterest or find something on Instagram and screenshot it. I'm going to show you using Widgetsmith and Photo Widget. So Widgetsmith, same thing, add small widget, because remember we have small, medium, and large. Click on one of them. So we're going to look for one that's a photo. So I'm going to click this little button that says photo. And then we're going to go to the next one, which is choose photo. Like I said, I'm going for Halloween themed. And let's just pick one of me with a pumpkin. Okay. So once I picked that, it is there. So done. I can rename it. Let's rename it pumpkin. So I'm renaming it pumpkin. And you'll see it's in my small widget box. Same thing as we did before, hold down the screen, click the plus. We're gonna go back to Widgetsmith, small widget. So it's done, hold that down, edit widget, pumpkin, select, and there it is. So now I have my calendar and my picture done. You can also use photo widget. Um, photo widget though, doesn't let you pick the one that it's on. It automatically scrolls. So if you want more of like a photo album scrolling, then photo widget is definitely the one for you. I have this one on my home screen. So you'll see that I have these three photos. You could have up to 30 in photo widget. So if you go to my other home screen, you'll see that it will scroll between my um, pictures that I picked in there. So that's really cool. Okay, so the part that everyone wants to know and probably the most difficult and time consuming part is how to make your icons at the bottom or any icons. Um, people have been doing their Instagram, Snapchat, messages, phone. I only did the four bottom icons because I plan to keep everything else in folders, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. The first thing you're going to want to do is search up ping images of the icons, whether that's the phone icon, the message icon, FaceTime icon, music icon, anything, you're going to look for a ping transparent image. So in your Google search bar, you're going to want to search that up. So here I have some ping images. You'll know it's transparent if you don't see the white background. So for example, this one, I see the white background disappeared. I'm gonna wanna add that photo. And now I have that. So if you're looking for a certain aesthetic, you might wanna try and search up the icon in that color. Like I did orange, so I searched up orange phone ping image. Um, some people aren't looking for actual images. They're up just uploading pictures, which is a little easier to do. But if you want your icon to look like the app it's representing, then you're gonna need to do a little bit more work. So once I find all my icons, I just did the phone very quickly to show you, you're gonna wanna find a wallpaper or a background. So for instance, I knew I was gonna have a very busy orange Halloween pack background. So I'm gonna search wallpaper iPhone, maybe just an orange background, right? And then same thing, go to images, see what you like pick one that you like the most. So let's just save this fun, colorful one just for the hell of it. Add that to my photos. Okay, so now I have my icon and I have my wallpaper. Next thing you wanna do is open the app Canva. I absolutely love Canva. I make everything on Canva. So I'm opening up Canva, opening up a fresh one. I'm going to click images, found my wallpaper, done next I'm going to I believe that you want to so you want to go to logos this time you don't want to just add it as a picture you want to go to logos and you want to click the little add button so here we go logos the little plus button recents phone 
and then the phone should pop up and now you'll see oh well for some reason it was clear okay so now it should look like this this is what you want it to look like and now you're going to save that saved camera roll perfect so now I have my icon that I'm going to be using for my phone next what you need to do is open up that app shortcuts which is what I told you about earlier so if you open up shortcuts you'll see that I already have a couple of shortcuts made these are the four icons that I ended up changing the picture of which is why I have four shortcuts right now so I'm going to show you phone on its own so you're gonna click this plus button right at the top add action now the first thing you want to do is type open app that is most important otherwise it's not going to open the app right away it's going to do something weird and not what you want it to do so now you're going to search the phone so now I know that it's just going to open my phone if I click these three little buttons at the top I'm going to name it phone add to home screen and I'm going to also change this to the photo that I just made right so I made it I can name it phone here too and it is going to add oh I already have one called phone sorry so I'm gonna give it an extra E so I'm gonna give it a little extra BAM so that should pop up now you'll see it it's right here If I open it it's gonna take me right to my calls Ta-da! okay and that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you um, the very basic skills of making your phone begin to look pretty I will call that the beginners tutorial for iOS 14 if you want to know more and you want to know more details please let me know I like I said I gave you a very quick tutorial of the three basic skills that I found most helpful but there are a lot of other really cool things that you could do as well so if you liked this one I will continue to make more just let me know like comment and subscribe that'll encourage me to keep going leave a comment or a question if you have more questions and maybe there was something that I didn't explain well just let me know I'm here to help and I am very excited for you to make your dream iPhone iOS 14 so I hope you share them with me thanks again so much and I will see you very soon